Here we have a 2020 Chevrolet Tahoe Premier. And this Tahoe comes in iridescent pearl on Coco Doom perforated leather seats. It's got that 5.3 liter V8, made it to a six speed automatic transmission. And this Premier is sitting on 22 inch chrome. Got front and rear parking sensors. There's that Premier front end. You've got your chrome grill, chrome accents, LED running lights. There are your fog lamps down there. I'm gonna get a close up on these wheels. You've got your fixed running boards. You've got power door locks, power windows, power mirrors, and power folding mirrors. Memory seating, Bose sound. And you can fit a full-size adult behind the driver's seat in these captain's chairs. also recline and then you can move them forward and back as well and right here you've got your little lamps you can toggle on as well got rear AC controls got a household three-prong plug-in heated seats And there's your rear seat there. And then you've also got a cup holder. And you've got a little pocket in the second row as well. And there is your third row or what's behind the third row. And then you can power fold those and also power fold the captain's chairs. And then you've got a load of cargo space there. And there's your passenger seat. Got your parking sensors, lane keep assist, your adjustable pedals, traction control. I'm gonna hop in here. So you've got navigation, AM, FM, XM radio, along with Bluetooth audio. You've also got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, your optional XM traffic, along with XM weather. You've got dual zone climate control. you got rear climate control. Heated, cooled seats, like I said before. Universal home remote. Tilt and sliding sunroof. You've got two additional USB ports there along with the cigarette lighter. Wireless charging pad. And you've got a ton of room in your center console cubby. There's your glove box along with your owner's manuals and such. 
And here we have your cruise controls, your forward collision alert, and your heated steering wheel. Then you've got your steering wheel audio controls over here. And there's your gauge cluster. Push button start. And finally we have our key fob. So of course the next thing to do is to take this Tahoe out on the road for a quick test drive. Surprisingly pretty smooth shifts coming from the six-speed automatic. Of course, the acceleration isn't anything compared to the 6.2, but it's seamless. Not a lot of jerking or clunking or anything from the transmission. And for your everyday driving, the 5.3 is going to be a lot better on gas mileage, and it's going to do pretty much what you need it to do. That's the XM traffic going off, telling me there's construction. And then, right now I'm in cylinder deactivation mode, so I'm only running on four cylinders. And now as I accelerate, put the uh, pedal down, it goes back into V8 mode. And merging acceleration is really good. The cruise set on 77, it's still in V8 mode. Let's see if I get it. So going down the interstate doing 69, I'm getting about 24, 25 miles a gallon with all eight cylinders running. And as I let the cruise control off and I kind of coast, that's when it goes down into four cylinder mode. And an overall smooth ride so far.
You've got to put the foot down just a little bit to brake, but for the most part, it's very, very smooth. And I was coming a little bit downhill there too, so that might've had something to do with it. Let's give it throttle here. And it doesn't really shift down like I would expect. As I give it throttle, you kind of have to just floor it before it really does anything crazy. But it's a Chevy Tahoe and it's meant to be comfortable and not to be a speed demon. And you've also got this manual shift mode if you choose to use it. Shift points are rather interesting, I think. But overall, pretty good experience, whether you're in manual mode or in automatic. And these perforated leather seats definitely help with the plush ride of the Tahoe. Even with these 22s on, the ride is no nowhere near rough. going down this back road I'm still in four cylinder mode and that's one thing I think that I like most about these Tahoes is just that's where you get your fuel economy numbers to improve it's for the most part you don't have to have a feather like foot to stay in cylinder deactivation mode I'm driving through this parking lot, it handles pretty well. It drives more like a car than a big SUV, so I don't have to check the side mirrors to make sure I'm not about to scrape anything. And we're just gonna park it. And you really don't even need your mirrors for the most part, unless you just wanna make sure you're pretty precise in the lines, which I do like doing. But I mean, the 
The guides are very good on the backup cameras. And there you have it. That's my review of the 2020 Chevrolet Tahoe.